In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the force of a falling object. This is a momentum energy problem. The question reads, rabbit food in the form of pellets is poured onto a scale pan at the rate of 400 pellets per second. Each pellet has a mass of 20 grams and falls a distance of 2.0 meters. Assuming that the pellets do not bounce, calculate the scale reading at 7 seconds. So let me give you an illustration of what's happening. We have these pellets that are falling onto a pan. Let me draw that. Let's pretend that this is our pan, and I'll make it 3D for you. It is sitting on a scale. And as you know, a scale can measure the weight of something in newtons. So what we're trying to find out here is the total amount of force as the pellets strike the pan and the force due to gravity as the pellets accumulate. That being said, there are two forces that we need to calculate because these are the two forces that the scale will pick up. A force due to the accumulation of pellets, that one is easy to calculate, and a force due to the momentum of pellets striking the scale. To calculate the force due to the accumulation of pellets, all we have to do is read through some of these numbers. We're told that 400 pellets fall per second. So that is a rate. And each of these pellets has a mass of 20 grams. But for the sake of simplicity, I'll convert that into kilograms because when we're dealing with newtons, we're dealing with kilograms anyway. So this should be 0 0.020 kilograms. And we're told to find out the reading of the scale after seven seconds. So right now, if I multiply this by seven seconds, I can find out how many pellets there are after seven seconds. And I can string along this thing, which is 0 0.020 kilograms per pellet to find out the total mass. So notice how this unit and this unit cancels out and we're left with kg, which is the total mass of 400 pellets per second for seven seconds. Using our calculator, we have 400 times 7 times 0 0.020, and we get 56 kilograms. That's a lot of pellets. Now remember how to calculate force. Force due to the accumulation of pellets on this scale, I'll represent as force ACC for accumulation, is equal to the mass times acceleration. And remember, acceleration will be the acceleration due to gravity. So how much is gravity pulling downwards towards the scale? The mass is 56, multiply to 9.8. Remember it's 56 kilograms and it's 9.8 meters per second squared. Together this makes newtons. So 56 multiply to 9.8 gives us a force of 548.8. Eight newtons. And you can round this to 550 if you like, just for simplicity's sake. 550 newtons. All right, so that's the force as these pellets accumulate onto this pan. The next force that we need to calculate is the force due to the momentum of these pellets falling. Remember that to calculate momentum, we use the formula P is equal to mass times the velocity. We know the mass already, it's 56 kilograms. All we need to know is the velocity. And for that, what we can do is use the other piece of information given, which is the distance that these pellets fall, which is two meters. Now, before the pellets fall, let's say that they're found in this container and there is a spout where they are released. So these are the pellets, these orange things that I'm drawing. The distance that it falls is two meters. So there's potential energy at this point, and potential energy is calculated using the formula mass times the acceleration due to gravity times the height. All this potential energy will go into the kinetic energy required to push down the scale, and that is the kinetic energy. So all of this gets transferred into the kinetic energy, which has a formula of half mass times velocity raised to the power of two. Now, because all this potential energy is going into the kinetic energy, 
I'll make them equal to each other. So the potential energy equals to the kinetic energy. The nice thing about this is that the masses will cancel out because you have m and m on both sides of the equation. And if we solve for v, we can multiply both sides by 2, which will cancel out this fraction here. So we have 2 times g times h is equal to v to the power of 2. We square root both sides. And by doing that, we now have an equation that allows us to calculate the velocity. So the velocity is the square root of 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared times the height of 2 meters. Now, if we calculate this correctly, we have the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 2. And that gives us a velocity of 6.26 .6 meters per second. So now we have the velocity, and we can use that into this formula where we have 6.26. .6, and let's write that with their units, meters per second. And this gives us the momentum. This is good. So 56 times 6.26 .6 makes 350 decimal 56 kilograms times meters per second. Now remember, we are looking for the force due to momentum. If you take a look at this number right here, we have the units kilograms times meters per second. The units for Newtons, which is force, is kilograms times meters per second squared. So what we can do at this point is multiply this value by 1 over 7 seconds. So 1 over 7 seconds will give us a value whose units are that of Newtons. Now this could also be achieved by simply dividing by 7 seconds. So if we divide this now by 7 seconds, we end up with 50 newtons. The scale will read 50 plus the accumulated, where is it? The accumulated force of 550, which sums up to approximately 600. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the force of a falling object onto a scale.